Good morning, students. Welcome you all uh, in this computer application class. I Pravin Mishra again in front of you, and uh, let us start our today's class. In last class, we have discussed about uh, different hardwares. We have seen different hardwares of first chapter. Today also we will go through the first chapter. One topic is left, that is port. So. After this topic, we will start our second chapter. But before starting this topic, I want to tell you one thing, inform you one thing that your question answer have been uploaded to the school website. So after the class, you can go to the school website and you can download your class computer application uh, notes. Don't write your fill in the blanks, true false and uh, objective questions answer in the copy only you will write the question answer in the copy if you have if you don't have please keep it somewhere safe when you will have a copy please write question answer and after getting the book might uh, you are getting going to get the book in this week or next week so when you will be able to get the book after getting the book, you write down all the fill in the blanks, true, false, and objective questions in your in your book. And other questions means question answers you will write in your fair copy. Hope I am clear with this. So you will get your uh, question answer today on the school website just after the class. So let's start our today's class. Till last class, we have discussed about many things: internal, external hardwares, input devices, output devices, storage devices processing devices so many things one topic is left suppose one computer is there and we have to connect uh, various devices with the computer okay we have to connect various devices with the computer so what is the tool or who is going to help you in that sense the answer is ports ports are the connectors those are helpful for connecting various external devices with your computer. You have seen in the front of the computer cabinet and the back side of the computer cabinet so many small, small uh, different shapes of uh, you can say connectors are given. Those connectors are helpful for providing the facility that you can externally connect many devices depending on that connectors capacity capability or quality so how we will come to know what are the ports how which kind of devices we can connect with the different different ports let's see ports are the connectors which are helpful for connecting various devices with our computer that we could increase the efficiency of the computer clear means we have to attach printer means we are going to increase one more property to the computer that is we can get the hard copy of any material next we want to listen the songs so we want to attach the speaker means Again, we are going to increase the capacity of the computer for playing the songs. We want to play the games, so we have to attach the joystick. In that case, again, we are going to increase the capacity of the computer by attaching the joystick that we could, could play the games, various games. Okay, so this way, our computer has a lots of uh, external connected hardwares which can be connected only when the ports are different ports are available otherwise what will happen you cannot connect your monitors you cannot connect your mouse you cannot connect your motherboard uh, we are sorry keep, uh, keyboard so these kinds of con connectors or ports help you to connect various devices with the computer let's see how many kinds of ports are there in front of you you are watching this kind of you have seen back side of your computer if you would have the computer you will see back side this kind of port which will have a this kind of shape will have a screw holders and 
you take the particular device switch here and connect it with this particular port. This port is called as serial port. Normally serial ports are used for slow transmission means when you have to connect various devices like modems then you are needed serial ports. If you have to connect modems with your computer, external modem with your computer in last class I have shown you. So you are needed such kind of serial ports. There one quality is there, they are slow, little slow in the speed, not too much but little so, slow in the speed. Next category of port is there, if you have to attach uh, from the computer, a scanners, printers, CD writers, so these kinds of devices can be connected with the help of parallel port. A rectangular, you can say a rectangular box will be there where so many pins will be available and the related device wire you will connect here and the device will start working with the computer. This kind of port is called as parallel port. You will observe the difference between serial port here, number of pins in upper line and in lower line different. But in parallel port both are both lines contain same number of pins. Okay, so this way our device can be connected with the particular parallel port and serial port. This is a little bit slow in the comparison of this parallel port. When you are required a high transmission of data such as printers, such as monitors, such as other CD writers. So you are needed a very high port, uh, quality of port, high frequency of port from where you can transfer the good amount of data in one go with the, to the computer. So you are needed parallel port. Okay, next you have USB port. You have seen USB port where you put the pen drive. I need not to show you. You all have used in your computer lab. You have seen your, in your computers at home, in laptops. You have seen parallel, uh, sorry, USB ports are available. If you are not able to see, so you ch check your um, mobile charger. In mobile charger, same type of pin is available same type of port is available is it okay so that is the example of usb port which is also available in the computer or cabinet front as well as back so with the help of usb port nowadays you can connect near about every device printer uh, pen drive modem uh, cpu sorry uh, mouse keyboard anything you want to attach nowadays they are USB containing the USB uh, connector. So that USB wire you bring here and connect it with this USB port and your device will start working. Okay. Next is PS2 port. In earlier computers such kind of ports are available which contains a rounded set of pins and this kind of structure, this kind of structure this is called PS2 port. Normally they are used for mouse and keyboard. If you ha would have some um, old computers, so may possible you could see these kinds of connector, sorry, ports available back side of the computer. Clear, which is basically used for uh, mouse as well as keyboard. Next is their VGA port, video graphic adapter. This port is used for mainly for the purpose that when you have to play, you have to attach a monitor, you have to attach high quality of uh, any device, a screen where you have to see the movies or something like that. So you are needed video graphic adopter. Clear? Next is there. Video graphic adopter is also used for projectors purpose. In the classroom you have seen your hanging projectors that is going to cover your, uh, your uh, screen, white screen available in every class that is also attached with the VGA port. So any uh, video related device that 
is needed to be connected with the monitor are needed VGA HDMI you have televisions or in are inbuilt with this particular uh, you can say port HDMI port is basically used for uh, play uh, you have to attach the game tools then you are needed HDMI if you have to convert your television in computer television as computer so you are needed to attach your particular wires with HDMI port so in that case you can use this M HDMI high definition multimedia interface port with your computer or with your television whatever available at the back side of the television or computer I mean so your uh, C, uh, cabinet it is also used for connecting the high definition of cameras when you have to transfer from uh, cameras to the computer so HDMI port is available in the computer's cabinet clear this way our HDMI port is working now if you have to make the arrangement of networking one computer is to connect it with another through the wires as you have seen in your computer lab all computers are connected to, through the wires so if you have to do such management in a premise so you are needed ethernet port this port is basically made for a networking purpose networking is what when you have to connect computers physically so you attach a wire here in this particular uh, uh, connector or in this particular port and next wire you attach with another computer so through this way the computers can be connected clear okay next is audio port in your computer you have seen so many pins are available so many pins are available which is used for making the audio purpose or audio tools use you have to attach earphone you have to attach a speaker you have to attach microphone so such kind of any device you want to attach you are needed audio ports clear so this way we are going to cover our first chapter's last topic port ports are the connectors which are used to attach so many external devices right from your mouse to your uh, speaker from the computer they are used now we will move for the uh, next chapter before going next chapter again I want to remind you that your question answers will be available on the school website please go through the school website download your question answer if you have the copy a fair copy you would have so please start writing side by side later your work will be uh, okay less and uh, uh, fill in the blanks true false and objective questions you have to not write in your copy only question answers you have to write clear now we are going to start I think I would uh, you all would have a paper and pen with you yes or no if you don't have paper and pen so quickly please have a paper and pen with you because the chapter is going to start now it is needed a little bit calculations so you are needed side by side the practice also clear so please go through uh, uh, take a copy and pen with you and then start this particular uh, chapter let's start okay so ready for next chapter good chapter is number system number system this is the chapter name I think this is visible to all this chapter is going to deal the different kinds of numbers systems which we use in our normal life to represent a number what is the number number is a set of digits for example you have written 23 this is a set of digits which is used to prepare for our purpose 
means we have to perform some calculations in our life so we are needed numbers and these numbers can be represented by the different kinds of digits so number system is going to introduce how we will work with different kinds of numbers what kinds of numbers available for us in our studies okay so in our studies we have four kinds of number system one number system is there four kinds of number system first is decimal number system decimal number system decimal number system is the number system that tell us how we have to represent a set of digit in the form of base 10 means any number which is generated with the help of 0 to 9 digits in the range of 0 and 9 in between all the digits any set of digits can be used to generate the numbers are called as decimal numbers and the procedure through which we generate these numbers is called as number system so number system is a procedure decimal number system is a procedure through which we will get or we will generate different numbers using decimals decimal means using 0 to 9 range is it clear decimal number system allows us to create so many numbers with the help of digits 0 to 9 little bit clear any number which can be generated any number which can be generated with the help of 0 to 9 range is called as decimal number which is represented this way any number which base is radix is 10 radix base or radix this is called radix or base if any numbers any numbers radix is 10 means you will understand this particular number has been created with the help of this digit range clear this digit means 0 to 9 digit range so this way we can generate the decimal numbers Look, so let's go for decimal numbers first before going further we will see the some examples of decimal numbers for example we have written uh, we have written 5, 7 and 6. In this number system, if you observe, I said this is the decimal number. So in this decimal number, the base is 10. Base is 10 means this total digits, each digit is going to represent the range from 0 to 9. Tell me. 5 is not from this range? Yes, from this range. 7 is not from this range? Yes, from this range. 6 from this range? Yes. So all the digits are coming from this range. So this number has been generated by the range value 0 to 9 means base value that is 10. So this is the example of decimal number. Clear? Next. Decimal numbers include some points that you need to know. A decimal number can be represented with the help of three things that is face value, face value, second, base of the number system number system 
and position or place value of descent. These three things matters in decimal number system for creating a number. Is it okay? Easily you can understand. Phase value means I have written 56. So 5 is represented in this way, 6 is represented this way. What is their identification? Phase value. Clear? Base value. Each digit, this total number's base is 10. This total number base is 10. But when we are going to separate this number, when we are going to separate this number's digits, so you will get the same numbers this way. Fifty plus six. Yes or no? You will get the same number means exactly equal to fifty six. Clear? Now this number can be represented this way 6 into 10 to the power 0 and this number can be represented 5 into 10 to the power 1 now what this means for representing this why we are representing is don't worry just keep watching I'll explain it in more easier terms first we have to understand this base and everything so Face value means 6 and 5. That is the identification of digits. How digits looks. Base of the number system that is 10. 10. So 10 is used from right hand side to left hand side. In increasing order, I will tell you how it is. Position value or place value of digits. This is the unit place. And this is the 10th. Sorry. This is the 10th place. Means... 5 is on 10th place and 6 is on unit place. This is their place value. Clear? So three things are clear for you all. This is uh, phase value, how the digits looks. Base value, base of the number system 10, 10, 10. And place value in mathematics you have practiced. Clear? Now we will generate, I combine this all in one term and I will let you clear how we will generate it, how we will understand in more easier way. See, suppose you have been given a number 1, 2 and 3 and you are said it is a decimal number represent it in an appropriate of you can say base value format base showing its base so no problem what will you take you will take each digit separately see separately a little far after writing each digit multiply each, each digit with 10 see how easier it is multiply each digit with 10 1. Separate each digit. Write each digit in a little far. After that, multiply each digit with 10. After that, what will you do? Start raising power from right hand side 0 and increase 1 plus 1 every time. And then what will you do? Add it. You can be able to represent this number in the form of base of number system in the form of place value. How see? 10 is going to represent the base value of decimal number system. And with the help of this calculation you observe any number raising power 0 will have 1. Will multiply with 3. Output will come 3. Plus any number having power 1 will be the same number multiplied with 2. Answer will be 20. Plus any number having power 2 will be the square 
So 10 square, 100 multiplied with 1. So here you are getting 100. Here you are getting 20. Here you are getting 3. Don't you think this is the place value? Unit 20 and 100. And when you combine this all, you are going to get your final decimal number. Understood to handle the base of the number system. Base of this decimal number system. This is the handling of base or representation of this number in base format. Is it okay? One more example, I will tell you. Keep watching. See, first we will take any number. Suppose I take a number uh, 3, 5, 9, 7. And I said this is a number, decimal number. Now I have to represent in base format, then in ten, uh, place value format. So see how it will be done. First, we will separate each digit and will write a little far. See. After that, we will calculate or multiply each digit with 10. Step number 2. After multiplying with 10, go from right hand side and raise power 0 and keep increasing by 1. And add all calculations separately. Is it okay? Now you calculate any number having power 0 that will be 1. So 7 into 1. That you are getting 7. Next plus 9 into 10 power 1 means same value so 9 into 10 answer will be plus 90 so this is unit place this is 10th place next plus 10 to the power 2 means 100 multiplied 5 answer will be 500 means 100th place next 10 to the power 3 so it will be represented with the help of 1000 will be multiplied with 3. So output will be 3000 or 1000 splits. Now you combine. So when you are combining you will get 3, 5, 9, 7. So this is the original decimal format. This is the place value format. This is the base value format. Is it okay? Clear for everyone? Can I give you some homework? Can I give you some homework? Yes. Please watch. You have to represent this number as I have represented in through this calculation. You have to represent some more numbers. For example, in decimal format, in decimal number system format, in base value, in place value format. And the numbers are 3, 9, 2. First one. And the second question, 4, 1, 3, 2. I hope you can do it. Okay, two homework is there for you all, for your, not for copywriting, but for your own practice, 392 and 4132. Can I proceed for next? Okay. We are going for next number system. Next number system is there. Binary. Binary number system. Binary number system is going to describe for you all that how we can represent a number in two digit format. Two digit that is binary means two digit, two digit, that's ranges zero and one. So this
two digits are going to represent so many numbers but there is a procedure very easy procedure is there you can easily understand clear binary number system is going to represent any number in two digit format in the form of zeros and ones clear zeros and ones basically is the language that a computer understand but question is there if we are working over the computer how we can come to know my data my numbers are going to convert it into the computer in binary format which way what is the equivalent number of 12 in binary format what is equivalent number of 90 equivalent binary format so how we will come to know that a number I am entry, entering in the computer and its binary value will be what? So this number system is going to give you a little idea about this. In upper classes you will learn more things but for your syllabus it is going to describe you the numbers you are going to enter for the system. How will you convert them into the binary format? Clear? So this way we can get a number into binary format. Let's see. Suppose I say there is a decimal number and the number is 13. This is a decimal number. So decimal number just I have told any number which can be represented in the form of base 10. Base 10. Clear? Now I have to convert this particular number in the form of base 2 means this particular number will be converted into from, uh, from this format to this format what will be the value let means just we will calculate so let's see how we will calculate it what is the procedure of calculation any number of decimal is given to you and it is said convert them into binary format so don't worry, take your number separately, this way. After that, put a line and in the lower classes you have practiced for LCM, least common multiples. So same way you will go for this calculation, but keep in mind only two you have to use for further calculation for divide so when you divide 13 divide by 2 so 2 6 are 12 and what remainder is coming you will keep this side 2 6 are 12 remainder 1 13 next time you will go to 3 times 6 remainder 0 oh clear next time you will go to 1 or 2 and remainder 1. So this way we are going to get the final value 1. After this, that we cannot calculate. Is it okay? So this is the calculation criteria. Once again I will tell. Please watch carefully. Then I will tell you how will you write this number in the binary form. Okay, to first take any number of decimal. Suppose I take 24. Okay, taking 24 first you make this line. And then start dividing it with the 2 as LCM format. 2, 12, 24. Remainder what is coming will keep here. 0. After that again you will divide with 2. 2, 6, 0. 2, 6, 12, remainder 0. After that, 2, 3, 6, 2, 3, 6, remainder 0. Next, 2, 1, 2, remainder 1. 2, 1, 2, plus 1, 3. So, remainder is written here. Now, after that, we cannot go. So, see how we will write in the decimal uh, uh, means binary formula. First, you will write this value this side 1 
this last value as first one place then this value as second place then this value from uh, top to up we have to go and the same order we have to keep the digits this, this is the binary representation of 24 is it okay can you do it from your side 24 we have taken a least number very small number we easily we have done if you have any doubt you can revise this uh, particular video clear so this way we can get this any decimal number by calculating we can convert it into the binary numbers so through this number system we came to know a decimal number can be converted into the binary format now question is that this is the binary format okay how we will come to know this is the exact binary value or what is the base value representation of a binary numbers value are you getting just we have introduced decimal base value representation so same way how you will come to know this is the correct one this is the correct binary number of this decimal number we are needed to know now so let's see what is the procedure to go for this one more time i will revise a num decimal number and i will convert into the binary and then i will convert binary to decimal so first we have seen how we will we have to convert decimal number to binary just we have seen one more time we will see we will take a number suppose we are taking 30 we will start dividing with 2 2 2 15 ja 30 remainder 0 2 7 ja 14 remainder 1 15 2 3 ja 6 remainder 1 2 1 ja 2 remainder 1 so this way we are getting a binary result or binary calculation and now represent this number in binary format one will be written here this will be written here this will be written here this will be written here sorry this will be written here and now lastly we will write here zero so this is the binary equivalent to the 30 decimal number now uh, we have to convert this number into this format. What is the procedure? How we will convert it? See, first you will take a binary number separately. Suppose the same number I have taken separately, separate each digit from same way. One, a little far, one, a little far, one, a little far, one, and zero. After doing this, after doing this means you take a binary number and each digit of the binary number should be written with a little separate, little far from each other. After that multiply each digit with 2, with 2, with 2, with 2 and with 2. After multiplying you go for raising power from the right hand side 0 by increasing 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this way we can find out after that you can calculate by adding this all. So what we are going to do, we are going to convert this binary number in decimal format. So this was the procedure to convert decimal to binary. Now this is the procedure to convert binary to decimal. So see what is going to happen here. Now we will calculate any number raising power 0 will be 1 multiplied with 0 plus raising 1 that will be same 2 into 1 plus 2 to the power 2 means 4 into 1 plus 2 to the power 3 means 8 into 1 plus 2 to the power 4 means 16 into 1. See. 
Now we will write in after calculation. Here will be 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 clear plus 0. After calculation 6, 8, 14, 4, 18 to 20, 0. Remainder 2 goes to carry means carry will go, uh, go here and 2, 1, 3. This is the decimal value of this binary conversion. So this way we can convert any uh, binary number to decimal number to check it. Whether what conversion we have done this side is 100% correct or not. Am I clear with this? Have, you, have I um, cleared it to you all? Yes? Okay. Next. Now, one more example I will tell you that you will be more clear with this. So, let's take a random binary value, binary number. For example, we have taken 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 0. And this is a binary number. We have to come to know what is the equivalent number, decimal number for this binary number. Clear? So what is the procedure to do it first? What we will do? We will take this number in the separate form 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Clear? After that, we will multiply it with 2, 2, 2. 2 and 2. Clear? Now, we will what do? We will raise the power 0 from right hand side and will increase by 1 to the left hand side. Keep increasing, keep increasing and keep increasing. And calculate all the uh, expressions by adding. Clear? Now, calculate each Slowly, slowly, one by one. Let's see. First, starting from here, here will be zero. Direct time calculating. Here will be two to the power one, means two. So two into one means two. Plus four into one means four. Plus zero. Any number will be multiplied with zero, zero. Now, uh, what will be there? 16. So plus 16 plus 32. So when will you calculate this? 6 to 8, 4, 8, 4, 12, 2, 14. After that, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. This is the equivalent binary number of decimal number that is 54. This binary number is equivalent to the 54th. You can write this way. 54 is the equivalent binary number number sorry decimal number of this binary numbers so this way we can represent any number from binary to decimal calculation is okay so number system what we have just seen was decimal number system and binary number system in binary number system we have seen two things how to convert decimal number into binary form and binary number into decimal form. Clear? So, this way we can convert any number. Now, question is that how we will write this same in the examination. You can make a little improvement in your uh, procedure of doing this. If any binary number is given, so please make it separate by putting brackets each calculation you will put in brackets 
clear and this way you can put each calculation this way this way this way and further what what you have just learned you can do the same way so your calculation can go very smoothly clear okay so then move for the next topic now next number system is that is octal number system octal number system as we have seen in decimal any number which can be represented in the form of base 10 is called as decimal number any number which can be represented in the form of base 2 is called as binary the so same way any number which can be represented by the base 8 or in the form of base 8 is called as octal number system any numbers that could be represented in the form of base 8 radix 8 is called as octal number system so this octal number system this 8 is going to represent 0 to 7 range of digits. So you can generate any number with the help of 0 to 7 digits which will be called as octal number system. So let's see some examples. For example, if I say 5, 6, 4 is a octal number system so you will learn each digit of this particular number is belonging from this range that's why it is a it is a octal number system sometimes it creates a confusion that sometimes it, it looks like a numbers decimal numbers so how will you get difference if i say five six four is a octal number so here will be a little confusion or it can be a decimal number but if i say 9 7 8 is a octal number so you can refuse you can say no it cannot be a number as octal number why because this 9 is not belonging from this range 8 is not belonging from this range so what is the exact representation of this at base 10 difference you got so this way we can defer this number if someone is asking what is difference between number system decimal and number system octal. So you can explain this way. Hope clear? Little bit? Okay. So octal number system represents any number in the form of radix 8. Clear? Next. <coughs> Now question is there, suppose we have to represent or we have to calculate a octal number, sorry, a decimal number into octal form. Suppose we have to convert a decimal number into octal form. So how we will convert it? What is the procedure of conversion? Means how we will convert a decimal number like we have converted a decimal number into binary form. We have converted uh, binary to decimal so in the same order we can also convert octal number in decimal and decimal number to octal or uh, what is the procedure again the LCM will come suppose I take a number as uh, 26 very simple number very small number and this simple I have to get this is a decimal number and I have to calculate in the at octal form clear this is a decimal number and i have to calculate and convert it into the base 8 format so what is the procedure of convert converting it you will take this number this way in the lcm format 
After that, you will write here 8. And you will keep calculating, keep dividing by only 8. Following the same procedure as we have done in the binary conversion. For example, 8 3 ja, 24. 8 3 ja, 24 remainder 2. Clear? After this, this can be go. Can this will be applied? No, this cannot be applied. This number is lower than this number. So we cannot go for further calculation. So we have got 3 and 2. And we'll write in the same order as we have written in the binary form. 3 will be written first, 2 will be written first. Second, this will be the octal conversion of 26. This is the octal conversion, means here we can write 32. 26 is equivalent to 32 as octal number. Easy now? Easy for all? Okay, one more time. We will take few more examples. See, suppose I take uh, 108 and I have to convert this. This is a decimal number. Decimal number. And I have to get its equivalent octal number. What will be the octal number? Equivalent. So first thing, you will write this way. After that, you start dividing with 8. So let's see. 8, 1 ja 8. What is left? 2. So 8, 2 ja 24. Sorry, 8, 3 ja 24. Very sorry. After 24, we are leaving here 4 as remainder. If you have any doubt regarding this, you can go for division calculation this way. 1, 0, 8, 8 divided by 8. So 1 time will go 8, remainder will come 2 and 28. 8 threes are 24. And what remainder is coming 4? So this I have written here and this you are getting here. How clear? Now next procedure we will go 8. 8 1 ja 8. 8 1 ja 8. And what remainder is left? What remainder is left? 5. So this way we are getting few values. Now we have to order them. So how we will order? This value will be written very first. 1. After that, second one, 5. And next one, 4. And this is the octal conversion of 108. So this can be written here, 154 is the octal equivalent of 108. Clear now? This, convert, this calculation is okay for all? Sure? Okay, you can do it from your side. You can perform some more calculation. I am giving you some as a classwork you understood or as a homework you understood. I hope you all are writing with me. If you are practicing this time, so it will never be missing from your mind. So please mind. Suppose first classwork as a classwork, homework you understood. I am giving you two questions from here also. You have to convert a decimal number. Suppose decimal number is there 2, 4, 8. This is a decimal number. You have to convert what will be the equivalent octal. And second, 3, 5, 6 as decimal number. And you have to convert what will be the equivalent octal number. Clear? Can you do it from your side? Please don't cheat. Do it from your side and try to get the exact value as octal. This way, today I am finishing this lecture. Thank you for being with me. Hope uh, you will complete your uh, exercise. Okay, we will meet in the next week. Thank you. Good luck for your next week. Keep healthy and uh, keep watching all the lectures carefully. Keep writing, keep updating yourself. Thank you. God bless you all.